since I already have the resistance and the voltage for our R1, I'm just gonna use Ohm's law and find the current. So eight divided by four is gonna be two amps. 14 times two, because power equals voltage times current, and that's gonna be 28 watts. So right now we've got a sample, we've got these samples over here, of visible penetration on these metals. And right here we've got our sample of fluorescent penetration on this metal. Um, we're letting our dwell time set up, which is up to 30 minutes. And after that, we're gonna remove the penetrants um, and apply the developer. And then afterwards, we'll inspect the materials for defects and cracks. We'll be able to find out that uh, EA is going to equal 1 volt right here. Julian, today we got the Piper Cherokee Arrow 2. Workplace readiness training here at Savannah Tech ensures that I achieve a high level of technical experience and develop the skills necessary to collaborate in the workplace. Putting the class project together. <laughs> this 
this is my project and it's just a vlog. It's going to be a cabin when I'm done. I have to put a door here. I, uh, I took two panels like this, well, four, like this, and we pour this out and we edge roll it here so we get a finished product like this. Take this towel and you softly graze the towel forward so you don't make any chunks going outward. And we want it to be nice and flush. So when you get a good towel, when you get everything nice and clean, it's super easy. I'm done filing now. Now I'm putting my single ply around the edges. And I'm going to put the single ply around the edges of my door as well. And then after that, I'm going to put the three fly on my door. And then I'm going to put the hinges back on. And then I'm going to put my door on. I'm Riley Singleton. I'm a student at Savannah Technical College. And today we're doing a project on a repair pad. And we're in ASTT 1090. It's our project here. Do some epoxy and let it dry. Today we're doing a second layer crack detection test of the eddy current. It's my double layer sheet of metal that I'll be using. And on the bottom, as you can see, it has a few cracks in each layer. And as I go across those cracks, you'll see it indicate on the screen. Now, I slide across. You can see as it's curling, indicating that it's found a surface, a detection underneath the surface. As I move it, the curve just gets bigger and bigger. As the crack, if it's a bigger crack, it just kind of moves further out. Today what we're doing is an NDT ultrasonic inspection. In this case, we've already calibrated everything, got everything set up. So we're going to perform the actual test. So we're going to put the jelly on top. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our transducer and we're actually going to move it around a little bit and spread it out. And if you watch the screen, when I go over the flaw, then it spikes up. And when I move back off of it, it starts to go back down and it jumps up and down. 